Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bella with Bella and the Phoenix. Hope you guys are doing well. I can't believe like the year's already almost over. <laughs> but anyways, uh, for today's reading, I uh, just wanted to do a quick check-in for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. We're gonna do Divine Masculine here on the left, Divine Feminine here on the right, just to see what the energies are and see where the reading takes us, okay? So let's start off with some tarot and see what do we need to know. I already shuffled the decks, but just giving it one quick shuffle. We have temperance. And I really think this is key how this is the first card out because I know I've been struggling with, with patience and divine timing and all that good stuff and I feel like the masculines are feeling it too you know so even if you are not sure if he feels his energy he does okay so he's definitely feeling a little impatient he wants to come towards you but he knows that divine timing is at play here right yeah at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords so I feel like because of this this is keeping him a little worried a little anxious a little um, on guard, like very sensitive to the energy. And this could be them feeling you too. And so it's keeping them up at night. Yeah, because they just want to rush towards you. <laughs> I love it. I feel like, yeah, they just want to rush towards you. But they feel like the angels are telling them, hold your horses. Let's not time yet. I know you want to talk to her. You're thinking about it day and night. You're staying up late at night thinking about it, but you have to hold on just a little longer. Just a little longer. <laughs> That's what I feel. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, see, you have to hold on, right? Because the angels want this person that you are thinking about, that you have a connection with, to hold off because they have to see something differently than before. And that's why divine timing is at play here. And a lot of the times temperance also deals with healing. It deals with um, angel, like angelic guidance. And I feel like they're letting him know you're being guided right now to look at things differently before you rush in, right? Because maybe in the past, your masculine was used to doing things like instant gratification, right? Like just doing things on the fly and just trying to like make things happen and not really thinking things through. And the angels are like, you got to heal that energy. You can't just go into this connection without thinking it through, you know? Like you have to do something different so that you don't end up in that same situation you were before. That's why you have to face this time of reflection, right? Because that's what the hangman represents reflection and really wait for the right time in order for things to finally start moving and when they start moving they're going to move fast right that's that's for sure <laughs> that's what's going to happen but you have to trust right you have to just trust and i feel like the masculines are learning to trust and not feel like they need to rush in they're, they're trying to trust that the angels know why they're being guided to hold off and I feel like the feminines are in that same stage as well that you're trying to also be balanced right with the six of pentacles you're trying to also not be off kilter here and yeah not lie to yourself right in order to in order to try to rush to your person you know that you have to balance things out you have to wait for him to act because he is a masculine not you right you're the feminine, you're there to receive, and you're also learning that same lesson. Look at that. You got two sixes back to back, so you're very much in a balanced energy, feminine. You got the six of wands here. 
okay? So it's almost like you're not focused on the masculine. Sometimes you do because you know that you have to wait for him to give to you, but in the meantime, you're turning this way, facing away from him because you're not trying to wash the paint dry kind of energy, you know? Yeah, see, another six. I love it because you know that you guys are going to reunite. You, got, you guys are going to reconcile and you know that that's what's coming. And if you add these up right here, this is a 12, right? Which is the hangman. <laughs> so it's very much like you guys are mirroring each other. And you know that you have to keep working on yourself. Keep being financially abundant so that you can get to that 10 of pentacles on your own. Or 9 of pentacles, right? 9 of pentacles on your own. And then 10 of pentacles where you have a, a family empire together. But yeah, see? Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like you know that if you don't also take your time and heal and use this time for for your good, you're going to end up in this Five of Cups energy again. So that's why the angels know best, right? They're letting you guys know you don't want to repeat history, so you have to do things differently. And that includes not rushing. Not rushing, taking, taking care of the foundation of your life first, so that you can be stable. And once you're stable, then you can come together. Let's see, what's the um, connecting energy between you guys? I just heard two of cups. <laughs> so spirit knows that you guys really love each other and that you know that this, wor this love is worth waiting for, okay? Wow, we have the nine of cups. I love this because this is spirit letting you know that they know that you guys love each other and that you both want to make each other's dream come true. That you guys are each other's wish fulfillment. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, look at that in the full. So I feel like that's what you don't see is that you've been attracting this connection. You've been manifesting it. And the mutual energy between you guys is you guys are finding your true bliss by yourself in order to share that cup with each other when you get to that ten of cups. So I love that, that that came out because it's confirming the energy. Okay, let's pull some oracle cards and see why is temperance here for the masculine spirit? Crossroads, exactly. This is about not being sure which road to take because there needs to be some healing that has to take place first. That's exactly what I was saying earlier. Bottom of the deck, we have victim and grief underneath that. And I feel like that confirms what I was saying earlier. The angels have been telling this masculine, you can't just act like you're a victim of circumstance because you, I mean, not to be harsh, but this is the energy. It's like the angels are telling the masculine, you brought this up on yourself, right? You tied your hands up and acted like, you had no control of your life. And when you let people control you and you act like you're a victim, you're not in your power. And you have to heal that energy. You have to heal that energy that you're not in your power because you are. You just gave your power away to other people. And you can be rushing into connections where you don't feel like you're in control of your life, right? And, and that causes this person grief, right? And look at that twin flame. So until this person gets out of this grief energy and victim mentality, that's when they can come towards you with the twin flame energy. But not sooner, right? Because if you don't reflect on where you've been, then you're going to end up making the same mistakes, right? It's like they say, if you don't learn from your history, you're going to end up repeating it. So he has a free will to rush in towards you, but... I feel like the angels are telling him, you can't keep doing the same thing. You have to purge, right? You have to purge that old energy, the instant gratification. It's not going to get you where you want to be because you already saw where it took you before. So you have to do it differently. Okay. Why is Six of Pentacles here for the feminine? Yeah. I feel like you gave to this person feminine and it cost you grief because this person wasn't ready to give to you in the past I feel like and I feel like this week I I feel like you understand that you don't want to give anymore to this person because 
you know that they could end up hurting you if they're not in that surrender energy. So I feel like you're surrendering, right? You're surrendering this balance of give and take because you were the one that was giving a lot. But now you're learning the value of balancing yourself with your feminine and masculine energy. Yeah, see, you're learning to be patient. So you see how we have temperance here in the beginning of the reading? And, and I mentioned that you guys are going through that too. That's confirming the message. That you guys are also learning how to be patient while you wait for this person to give to you this time around. Six of Wands with the Unawakened card. So I'm getting here that your masculine was unawakened. You know what I mean? And I feel like this is why you're turning your back for now for this person. Because you know they're not where they need to be at the moment, right? Not to say that they're not going to awaken. But you know that they still have some lessons to learn. Then we have the fall energy in the back. And the and the back. And the bottom of the deck, I can't talk today. <laughs> yeah. So this person is watching you, feminine. And they're seeing how you're in a different vibration than them. And they know they need to catch up um, and awaken so that they can be able to have that victory with you. Okay. Let's see. Let's get a card for the Nine of Cups here. The mutual energy between you guys. We have tribe. You guys have the same soul tribe, right? Same soul family. And bottom of the deck, we have material world. So I'm getting here that spirit wants you to know that you've been manifesting this connection. And now it's about to come into the physical world. Yeah, you've, you've been bound to this connection. There's been some deception. But spirit is saying yes, okay? There has been some lies here. Okay, that's weird how I just flipped over when I went to the crossroads. Um, that's a message right there. I feel like I feel like the angels are trying to get the masculine to let go of the material world. That's also the holdup here for the masculine is that he's been so focused on the physical world, the material world, finance, you know, finances, right? That that's one of the things that the angels are trying to teach him is to let go of this um, material, materialistic type of energy because that's what's keeping you back from your truth. See? The answer is yes, is blocked with the mute card and twin flame, right? So this healing is very important because until that happens, you can't go to the next chapter. And that's why... That's why the masculine is wanting to rush in towards you, but the, the energy is not right yet, you know? And, and the fact that the tribe is here, it's telling me that you guys already are part of each other's soul tribe. So there's nothing that you need to be concerned about to where you don't think this is going to manifest because it will. You guys are each other's soul tribe. You, some are at the top of the day. Balancing the scales. Exactly. You guys have to be balanced in order for this to get to that wish fulfillment. There's a very interesting um, analogy that I read online that I wanted to share with you guys. And it has to do with this message because it has to do with trust, right? And so when you guys are both in sync, right? And you're both in this unison, balanced energy where you're both trusting i feel like spirit wants you to really look at this analogy because i know it really helped me to see things differently and hopefully it does that for you too but basically there was somebody that said online i forgot where i found it i think it was quora <laughs> i love quora because you can find a lot of people answering questions on there that and they're actual twin flames and it's really cool anyway so this this thread was talking about Imagine you and your person being on a race, right? Like you guys are in a race car. You're both heading to the same destination, right? And, oh, I wish I could say how it said it. Let me see if I could find it. <laughs> um, I don't know if I took a screenshot of it. I think I did. Hold on. Hold on, guys. 
Okay, I did take a screenshot of it because I was like, this is really good. Okay, so you're both in sports cars driving to the same destination as a team, right? And let's say that the destination is enlightenment and union. That's the price and a race. So this place is going to be your vacation spot for eternity. And you both have been planning this trip for a really long time. But one of you, the chaser, knows the way and the other one, the runner, you think doesn't. Now you know once you get there, it's going to be paradise and heaven on earth. And you know this is what you have waited your whole life for. You want to win this prize and you know you have the skills to achieve it. We've got this. Okay, so as you're driving, you both are on the highway where there are two lanes going in the same direction. The speed limit is the same, but you are told that you have to trust that he is driving beside you. You just have to trust. Now, here are the divine rules. You can't turn and look to see if he is beside you. In order to get there, the fastest, you have to keep your eyes straight ahead, your foot on the gas, and pay attention to your road, and you're driving only. <laughs> now, for those of you cluing in, your road is your soul's paths, and the divine in your driving is working on yourself. Okay? Now, here's the kicker. For every time you check to see if your twin is really there, still driving beside you, the universe is going to knock him back and slow your car down. So two things are going to happen. You will have to wait for him to catch up and you aren't moving at the same speed anymore. But because you didn't trust he was there, you lost momentum and faith and you didn't move forward. And he also didn't trust you because he told you he was there. And the two of you as a team of race car drivers were knocked out of sync. You see? So he pulls up again beside you and you can hear his car again, but you can't look. You have to just trust again. Once you sense him, there you start to move forward again together. You see where I'm going? I just recently realized something. You can see with your peripheral vision. You don't need to turn and look. Um, so that's basically what this person was saying. The, the trust equals to faith in the divine. Not looking equals a sense of knowing. I know he is there. I know he will always be there for me. I love that, you guys, because... Um, it's true. It's like, I don't have to look beside me because I know he's right next to me, right? And this is where, where the mutual energy between you guys is. You guys have to be in sync with each other. And there has to be some healing that he needs to do on his part. But he is going to catch up with you. And you just need to trust that he's going to catch up, right? So that you guys can both be in alignment, right? So that you can attract this brand new beginning, that's waiting. Look at that. We got the strength card. Look at that. We have the six of cups. <laughs> okay. So you have to trust that this new beginning is coming and it's going to take all your strength, take all your strength to not look, but you guys are going to ultimately reconcile here. You know, I mean, that's just beautiful. <laughs> okay. So let's see what else do we need to know spirit to wrap up for the masculine you got one and only focused only on you first and last they talk to thinking of you all day okay so this is why he really wants to rush in because you saw the nine of swords this is all he keeps thinking about but the angels are telling him you need to finally have the free will to do something different and work on your healing because in the past, I feel like this masculine was doing very little effort. Don't invest much time, lazy courtship, little to no initiative, right? And that's where you were overgiving in the past. But you guys are no longer doing that again, right? Otherwise, the cycle is going to repeat. So let's see. Let's get one more. Yeah, so with you, feminine, you're done with the lies, okay? You're done with putting up a front you're no longer wanting to hide how you feel um i feel like in the past you had to lie and pretend you didn't feel the same or you had to just play down how you felt towards your masculine but i feel like now you're done with this energy where you're okay with him not being truly honest with you you're done with that and that's why the grief card is here because you're grieving that chapter because you're letting it go finally yeah 
because you're proud of yourself now. And he's proud to have you. Talks about you all the time. Very impressed with you. I feel like you want to make him proud. That's what the Six of Wands is here. You want him to look up to you. Um, but yeah, I feel like you guys are going to get to a place where you don't, you no longer have to pretend and be in the ego, right? You, you can finally come to terms with this is me. This is who I am authentically. And this is, this is what it is, you know? Top of the deck, we have spiritual for the mutual energy between you guys. Spiritual connection, telepathic communication, deep heart space connection. Okay. For some of you, I, I will bring this up because it's happened to me recently. Um, I saw Avatar this weekend, guys. <laughs> and I don't know what it is about Avatar, but maybe it's because it was a 3D movie. And, you know, you get into that alter state where you, you totally zone out, right? And for a moment, I literally felt like my masculine was holding my hand. It was just me sitting there and I was just holding my own hands like because I had my purse on my lap or whatever. And I was just like, I had my fingers interlocked like this, right? And for a second, I felt like I went through a time jump or something. And I literally felt his presence like right next to me as if he was sitting next to me holding my hand. And I was like, what the hell? It was so weird. <laughs> But that's part of um, what we call twin flame merging. Um, and I feel like it happens gradually for some people. For some people, it happens to them the first day they, they meet their twin. You know, it really depends. But basically, it's, it's where your telepathic communication is going to start picking up more. Some people can even see through their twin's eyes, which I think that's really freaky. But I feel like... The more you guys start balancing each other and your own energies and coming into this unison, um, you know, in sync energy, that's when you guys are going to start merging as one. Okay. That's crazy. Look at the bottom of the deck here. We have innocence. Triggers your inner child. Playfulness and teasing. Puppy love face. I feel like this is coming through, especially in my Instagram post um, where I talked about you know, friendship and being in that playful energy with your person. And I feel like that's how they feel too. And this is why this is coming out because that will, that will make you guys really happy, right? To be in that lighthearted energy. And I feel like once you guys go through that merge, it's going to help you see what's going on with your person to where you're, it's going to help you trust more and you're not going to doubt anymore. And then you guys can get to that finish line like that analogy said, right? You're going to get to the the finish line, the paradise, <laughs> the end of the road, um, the finish line, right? Like a race um, on a track or whatever. But you, you just have to hold off a little bit longer, you guys, and be in this playful energy. You see, how, oh my God, this is so interesting. You see how she's focused over here and he's focused over here? This is exactly where you guys need to be so then you can both meet up in the same energy and be lighthearted again together. But they're not looking at each other, you see? It's like you're focused on your own life, your own happiness, and then you can come back together and balance out the scales. For, and especially because we, we saw the summer card, that might happen during the summer. But yeah, that's just what I'm getting. <laughs> Let's just get one last few messages here. What do we need to know, Spirit? Wow, you guys are inspired right now. This idea is being um, downloaded here. This is a crown chakra. And it's going to help you guys move to that next phase. And it has to do with your emotions too. Something that's going to inspire you through your emotions. And it's going to give you guys confidence, right? It's going to give you guys confidence to see things through. Just give me one more. And look at that and get to this place of pleasure. Enjoyment, beauty, sensuality, indulgence. I love it. Look at that and then creativity underneath that. So it's going to help you guys be able to express yourself in a more creative way. Um, to be able to tap into your playful energy, sensuality, beauty, right? I wanted to get 
one more card. Let's get these animal cards. But yeah, guys, if you liked it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And comment below if it resonated. But let's just get one more message for the week. What do we need to know, Spirit? Wow, look at this. Listen up, back. You're working through deep soul patterns. Release any outdated beliefs that surface. And this is key because the bat represents um, regeneration, rebirth, transformation. You know. And this has to do with your thoughts as well. Because it's saying release any outdated beliefs. Right? And I feel like that's what the masculine is releasing. He's releasing those old beliefs that kept him in that pattern of not getting to know the person that he was with or whatever the situation was and do things differently with you start with the friendship look at this divine timing we started off with temperance <laughs> with divine timing and we have the tiger divine timing and we are in the year of the tiger right it's pretty much ending but spirit is saying good things come to those who wait exactly so while you guys may be feeling a little impatient, just know that this is going to get you guys to that finish line, right? When you guys are both trusting that the other person is right next to you, you know? You guys, I just looked at the top of the deck. It was a two of cups. <laughs> and I said that earlier, right? I just had to re-record this because, I mean, add this in because... I literally felt any energy and here it is it popped up again I love it so yeah that's what I got but it's it's just beautiful <laughs> good things come to those who wait I love this so I'm gonna leave it there guys I hope that was helpful comment below let me know and if you like to book a reading with me you can do so by clicking on my link below and I'll catch you guys in the next video Bye.